preach to you. And now we're going to get an outline of what Jesus, what Jesus' disciples and Paul were preaching, the gospel message. He says, I delivered to you what I also received. In other words, he's imparting to them oral tradition he'd received from the apostles. And here it is. He says that Christ died for our sins according to the scripture. All right, so there's many, uh, there's many issues. There's many issues with what Mike Lacona is saying, and I'm, I'm just going to make this video as short as possible. So Mike Lacona is saying that the disciple or Paul was preaching what the disciples were preaching about Jesus' uh, death and resurrection. And this is, now is this true? No, it isn't. Uh, you know, if you read the, see, the problem with Mike Lacona is he didn't read the New Testament carefully. And the reason why Paul is important is because Paul was writing before the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So Paul's letters or Paul's epistles carry more historical weight than the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Although the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in my opinion, do contain some historical information about Jesus. I do believe that, but I believe what Paul says is earlier and more reliable because he was writing before any of the Gospels were even written. But anyways, that's, that's not the point of this video. The point is, Mike Lacona is basically ignorant about where Paul was getting his doctrine of Jesus death and resurrection or Jesus death on the cross and his resurrection from Paul was not getting it from the disciples of Jesus Paul was getting it from his own visions and his own reading of the Old Testament how do we know this we know this by reading Galatians chapter 1 uh, Galatians chapter 1 verses 11 to 12 where Paul says, I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel I preached is not of human origin. I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it. Rather, I received it by revelation of Jesus Christ. What that means is that Paul says he didn't, the gospel he's preaching, which is the death and resurrection of Jesus, is not of human origin. That means the gospel did not, or Jesus' death and resurrection did not come from the disciples. It came from a revelation from Jesus Christ, meaning a vision from Jesus Christ. Uh, we, we further, and, and if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 8, Paul says, Brothers, the gospel I preached is what I also received. So, you know, going back, if we go back to Galatians chapter 1, verse 11 to 12, we know that, uh, that the, the gospel or the death and resurrection of Jesus that Paul is preaching does not come from man. It doesn't come from human origin, as Paul says. That means Jesus' death and resurrection, the idea of Jesus dying on the cross and resurrection did not come from the dis did not come from Jesus' disciples. It came from Paul's revelations, which means a vision, Paul's vision, so called vision of Jesus. Further, if we read in one Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 to 8 it says um, uh, brothers the gospel I preached is what I also received that according to the scriptures Christ died uh, Christ died for our sins and he was buried and according to the scriptures he was raised on the third day so what Paul is saying in 1 Corinthians 15 is that uh, Paul is getting his information or Paul is getting his doctrine of Jesus death and resurrection not from the disciples of Jesus but from the Old Testament and by revelation revelation in the New Testament means a vision of Jesus so Paul is the one who made up Jesus death and resurrection using the Old Testament or a different form of an Old Testament that we have than we have today because the Old Testament scriptures that the Christians were citing in the first century is very different from our, you know, canon of the Old Testament. They were quoting from one Enoch and the wisdom of Solomon, etc., etc. You know, books you can't find in today's Old Testament canon. So Paul got Paul got the death and resurrection of Jesus from his revelations or his visions 
ain't from the Old Testament or some form of the Old Testament that the first century Jews were using, which is different from our Old Testament canon we have today. So what that means is that Paul got Jesus' death and resurrection not from the disciples, but from not from the disciples of Jesus or the apostles of Jesus. He got it from Revelation and the Old Testament. So Paul got it from visions and from the his reading of the Old Testament. So Paul is the originator, or Paul was the first one who made up Jesus' death and resurrection, not the disciples. Because keep in mind, if you read Bart Ehrman's book, Forge, we can see that Peter didn't write one Peter, James didn't write one James, or James didn't write James, Peter did not write one Peter and two Peter. And no, they didn't use secretaries to write those letters. Uh, Ehrman debunks that claim. Even if you read Raymond Brown's book, The Introduction to the New Testament, he says most New Testament scholars say that one Peter was anonymous, uh, you know, James is anonymous. So, the, so my point is the disciples didn't write down anything. So we don't know what the disciples were really teaching or preaching about Jesus, uh, you know, about Jesus' crucifixion, etc., etc., uh, my guess is that the disciples were teaching were teaching Jesus' disappearance, and Paul was teaching Jesus' resurrection or appearance, and Paul's gospel beat out the disciples' gospel because Paul was the most successful Christian missionary. His gospel prevailed over whatever the disciples were preaching. But, you know, that's a separate video. But my point is, like, Michael Cohen is wrong when he says, that the Paul is preaching what the disciples were preaching about Jesus' death and resurrection because Paul did not receive the death and resurrection information from the disciples. Paul received Jesus' death and resurrection by revelation, that means visions of Jesus, and by reading the Old Testament. So that's where Jesus' death and resurrection comes from. Paul's reading of the Old Testament and Paul's revelations or Paul's visions and it doesn't and that information doesn't come from the disciples or the immediate disciples or the apostles of Jesus. Stay tuned, more videos coming up ahead. Debunking Christian apologetics.